The day we're taking a look at these NBA matches, which are happening on Friday, March 4, 2022, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions, then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Five plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 500 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting picks that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the high stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks. Milwaukee Bucks vs Chicago Bulls. The Milwaukee Bucks and Chicago Bulls meet Friday in NBA action at the United Center. The Milwaukee Bucks look for a win after splitting their last eight games. The Chicago Bulls look to snap a three-game losing streak. Our first pick is Chicago Bulls, plus 3.5 points. And here is why. Milwaukee outscore Miami by five in the fourth to secure the win and to no surprise, were led by Giannis Antetokounmpo who scored 28, along with 17 rebounds. Chris Middleton, meanwhile, had 26 points, while Drew Holiday chipped in with 25 points and 11 assists. Milwaukee is now 6-4 in their last 10, and hanging on to the fifth spot in the Eastern Conference overall standings. Something isn't right with the Bulls. No, I'm not telling all of the Chicago faithful to hop off the bandwagon, but they're clearly in a slump right now. It's going to be tough to change course with the defending champion Bucks in town for a visit. But this Bucks team has been terrible against the spread. If you want to talk about slumps, let's talk about the Bucks failing to cover in six of their last seven games. Let's talk about them only having a 16-13 record when playing on the road. Let's talk about them eking out a 94-90 victory over the Bulls in the last head-to-head -head meeting, with no Zach Lavin on the floor. The Bulls are pushed against the wall in this game, and they'll get up for an opportunity to knock off arguably the best team in basketball, while also avenging a previous loss. They won't win the battle on the boards, but center Nikola Vucevic can at least help keep it competitive. And both Lavin and Demer Derizin can ignite the offensive firestorm. And our second pick is under 239. And here is why. Despite both teams being involved in some high-scoring games lately, I'm hammering the under tonight, as the projected total of 239.5 points seems a bit excessive. The game played in Milwaukee earlier this season, finished 94-90 in the Bucks' favor, and 240 points haven't been scored in a game between these two teams since the 2007-08 season. The last NH2H encounters have averaged 216.5 points per game, and the total has gone under in seven of them. Chicago has trended towards the under a lot in the past couple of weeks, with five of its last seven games cashing on that bet. With four of the five most recent meetings between these two finishing under, I think that's the way to go tonight, as well. Orlando Magic vs Toronto Raptors. The Orlando Magic and the Toronto Raptors duke it out at the Scotiabank Arena on Friday night. Our first pick is Orlando Magic, plus 8. And here is why. Orlando blew a 15-point fourth quarter lead and fell 122-114 in overtime to the Indiana Pacers on Wednesday night. Malcolm Brogdon had 14 points in the fourth quarter, which started with Orlando leading 91-76. Orlando is now 15-48 and owns the worst record in the NBA as they continue to rebuild. In its last 10 games, Orlando is 3-7. The Magic have actually won 8 of their 15 games on the road this season. The spread for this game is a bit too high considering the emotional rollercoaster the Raptors are likely coming off of after Friday's disappointing loss to the Pistons. Toronto's defense has been suspect throughout the season, and the Magic are finally starting to find a little confidence on the offensive end of the floor. Franz Wagner doesn't look like a rookie, and Cole Anthony is due a big game after struggling against the Pacers on Thursday night. They dropped a 110-109 loss to the Raptors in their last road trip to the Scotiabank Arena back in October. So they've proven they can keep it close in this head-to-head -head meeting on the road, at the very least. Even after an impressive offensive showing from Pascal Siakam, it still wasn't enough for the Raptors to get past a Pistons team with the second-worst record in the NBA. That's telling for the team ahead of a meeting with the underdog Magic. And our second pick is under 220.5 point. And here is why. The Raptors dropped a close game to Detroit on Thursday night, 108-106, and will be on the second leg of a back-to-back -back for this home matchup with the young Orlando Magic. Scotty Barnes had 18 points and 10 rebounds, Gary Trent Jr. scored 24 as the Raptors beat the Nets 109-108 on Tuesday night. On Thursday night, Pascal Siakam scored 28 points and added 5 rebounds in defeat. The Raptors are now 5-5 in their last 10 games.
Minnesota Timberwolves vs. Oklahoma City Thunder. The Minnesota Timberwolves pay a visit to the Oklahoma City Thunder at the Pacom Center on Friday night. Our first pick is. Minnesota Timberwolves for the win. And here is why. Carl Anthony Towns had 39 points and 9 rebounds for the Timberwolves in an impressive 129-114 win over the Golden State Warriors on Tuesday in a potential postseason preview. It was an excellent effort for a Wolves team that has won 10 of their last 14 games overall. Fresh off of a statement win over the Warriors Minnesota comes into this matchup having won two in a row and five of its last seven games overall. Towns has been playing with a renewed sense of confidence since NBA All-Star Weekend when he was crowned the three-point contest winner. Meanwhile, the Thunder are coming off of an impressive win of their own but have little incentive to keep winning the rest of the way. Take the Timberwolves to cover the spread on the road in this Western Conference showdown on Friday night. Already missing several key players, Oklahoma City scratched forward Derek Favors due to a sore lower back before the game. The Thunder found a way to neutralize Denver behind the shooting of Gilgis Alexander, Roby, and Vid Kritschy, who combined for 10 three-pointers. The rebuilding Thunder got an impressive win against a playoff team. And our second pick is. Under 230.5 points. And here is why. The teams have met twice this season with one game combining for 240 points while the other for just 188 today's game should be on the lower side of that. Both teams are missing key offensive players, with Anthony Edwards likely out for the visitors, too. While both teams play at a fast pace, the Thunder do a great job of defending in transition. Only the Washington Wizards currently allow fewer fast break points per game than OKC. The Thunder are also D the league in true shooting percentage, which could limit how much they benefit from extra field goal attempts created by the pace. The fact that over the last 10 games they are 12th in defensive rating should also limit what the Timberwolves can do. Back the under. Disclaimer, no financial advice, the information on this channel is provided for education and informational purposes only, without any express or implied warranty of any kind, including warranties of accuracy, completeness, or fitness for any particular purpose. The information contained in or provided from or through this channel is not intended to be and does not constitute financial advice, investment advice, trading advice or any other advice. The information on this channel and provided from or through this channel is general in nature and is not specific to you the user or anyone else. You should not make any decision, financial, investment, trading or otherwise, based on any of the information presented on this channel without undertaking independent due diligence and consultation with a professional broker or financial advisory. 